to really, really tight. Um, and you just have to be able to deviate from the traditional ledge trapping flow chart. Yoshi is able to give himself egg as a lot of coverage, uh, and he's able to double jump and go high. Um, you start to overcommit to auto reticle or explosive flame against Yoshi. He's able to fly in there and blow you up. Yeah. All right, well, so far, Bunte fan back air, no dash attack, getting the Nair up air. Great follow up into the Yoshi. You want to make sure you keep that aggression from Yoshi, stopping the double jump, but also stopping Yoshi from getting on the stage or having an opportunity at the air as well. I really like the way that Amante was able to space themselves away from Explosive Flame. You know, just Yoshi has so much mobility. I believe that's no double jump. Going to be forced to air dodge back onto the ledge, but mixing up their air dodge timing in such a way that they set up a 50-50. Buntai was not ready for it. Had the great idea with the counter, but Buntai needed to have uh, dropped down first. If they wanted to get it, this could be so big. All right, no follow-up. But they find on the stage here, no back air, and unfortunately dipping a little bit too low for that up recovery. It's going to be... 800 and Amante pretty much taking the first stock. Well, I love that really gentle short hop that we saw from Amante. They were able to position himself and try to get a reset on that situation, but going to be pressing too many buttons. Buntai uh, having a really good idea of the way that uh, Amante was going to be jumping in there and finds the stock. All right, neutral air, back air, stage control here coming out for Buntai fan. And neutral air, oh, I was going to say, watch yourself on the tech, but it's still a good tech chase coming out from Amante. It's going to be the explosive flame and all the way off the stage. Yeah, I've um, got to say, Buntai fan spacing of explosive flame this game is just so, so solid. Uh, more often than not, you just see that move coming out and connecting. They're picking all the right spots. All right, stage control coming out here for Buntai Fan. Looking for the back air. What a play there. Smart. You don't have to really go for too much. Pretty simple and clean. Honestly, the intangibility is really good against Yoshi, who loves to come in with those big hitboxes and great aerial drift. Tries to go through the drag down into the F smash. Not able to find it quite yet. And I have to say, Buntai Fan's advantage shit is so solid right now. Already putting on 52% on the board. This this lead, they're just starting to run away with it. Getting so many juggles. That buffered air dodge could have been so huge for Buntai. But unfortunately, they were in no position to be able to hit him for it. Okay. Buntai Fan, dash attack. Great patience there, looking for a whiff punish, and the whiff punish has been found all from getting that little bit of a drift back just to see how a Amante was going to pretty much react, and Buntai Fan will be taking game one. Yeah, finds a down throw into the back here, you know, really nice solid way to take that stock. Um, and again, you know, uh, even though it's a little bit more difficult to connect that confirm, um, at this point, there are definitely percent windows where it's doable. Uh, it just might be a little bit of a tight link to get sometimes. Um, sometimes it's just like multiple frame perfect inputs in a row. I yeah. don't think you like that. I wouldn't be able to tell you the exact percent. Uh, but you know what? Buntai did it. Yeah, and nonetheless, nonetheless uh, Buntai fan definitely starting up strong here in Game Boy. And like we said, it's a best of three dynamic. So things are a little bit different here. You kind of have to show up and get your adaptation as sooner, sooner than possible because it's literally best of threes. You know, usually you would be seeing a best of five, right, in traditional bracket style. But that's kind of the beautiful things about ladders. So they're the ultimate test of a player's skill, able to play against multiple players at once. But also, it's the more you win, the higher you'll climb. And the less you lose, the better. And in this case, for these two players, it is a case of the more you win, the better, and the less you lose, because it's only a best of three. And as soon as Bonsai Fan has found himself pretty much on set point with game one going to him, the game, the bracket reset is pretty much already on deck for Bonsai Fan. But we'll see how things go coming out in game two. Honestly, I, at face value, I'm predicting a possible bracket reset, but we'll see if Amante has anything to stop that. Mm -hmm, for sure. So going into game number two here, they're going to be opting to go for Battlefield. Uh, this is a stage that Yoshi just absolutely thrives on. Ever been hit by up tilt or up air at the stage? Oh, no, no, oh, buddy. Oh, there we go. Uh, not able to fully link it into itself. Also, whoever picked this music, monster. You're, you're actual, you're, you're a monster. He picked random, uh, should have picked the song because mm, I'm, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I, I was yes. There was a the recent one of the recent patches where it allowed stages like Final Destination and Battlefield to have all the music from Smash. It's good on hindsight, but when it comes to all the songs just being random, sometimes they're not the best in the bag for sure. Yeah, not not an excellent look, um, you know. But right now, Amante is just sort of trying to find any opportunity to be able to land, respecting that explosive flame, not trying to really land in Palutena's vicinity at that point. Trying to mix up the drift from the platform, but uh, right now this is anybody's stock. Yeah. 
so far. Okay, good way to come and try to... I think that's the one thing I'm liking from Buntai Fan. Even though we are seeing these back airs, it's Buntai Fan taking, letting go of the ledge to take center stage control and then seeing if he can find an actual whiff punish there against Amante. Nonetheless, though, Amante will get the better of that. Pretty much understanding there is some end after the back air and it can be punished down tilt to up air. Uh, like I said to Ragmar, getting hit by up air Yoshi on a platform like Battlefield does not feel oh great. Oh my goodness. Oh and getting hit goodness. by that forward air does not feel wow. great at all. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of not feeling too good against Yoshi sometimes, you know, but this is a stage that he thrives on. Up tilt and up just do so much here. These battlefield platforms are really not good for Palutena. They're so, Yoshi just gets so much off of them and he will continue to be able to get uh, those off. But excellent explosive flame to be able to clean up that stock. This could be huge from Palu, finds a platform extension neutral into the four leader, dealing a very nice consistent 39%. Uh, able to find a down throw into the four leader once again and Buntai fan just putting on that damage little by bit. Yeah, forward air into back air, explosive flame. There's the double jump there coming out and the down B. Buntai fan not in a great spot to try and land wow. as the upper will do it. Man, you said it best, Ragmar. Being on battlefield against Yoshi, not the best plan. It feels bad. It, yeah. it should have feels bad. So uh, Yoshi will thrive on battlefield. He'll thrive on Yoshis like that. Um, any stage that does have those platform that platform layout for him to be able to do that. And again, he's such like a dynamic and a versatile character that um, he really doesn't actually have that much of a bad stage, you know, an objective singular bad stage that, you know, he always instantly bans, right? So yeah. you, you just want any kind of a stage, like he, he can definitely thrive on a handful of stages, but he'll be okay no matter where he goes. Um, that was an excellent play game from Amante, but of course they're not going to have the advantage going into this next one in terms of stage. Uh, you know, Amante, one more game and this will be it for him. Buntai gets this one and it'll be the bracket reset. Going to be going to go right back to PS2. You know, um, this definitely looked like a very comfortable stage here. Uh, I believe they did get, go here game one, or maybe I'm not remembering correctly. Yeah. Either way, for a Buntai fan, not giving Yoshi the trouble, the tri layout is really good. Just seeing how that went the last game. So it's going to be good on Buntai fan. I think they actually did go PS2 the first game, if I'm not mistaken. And it's also really good because this is where Buntai fan thrived for sure on game one. And looking at Thrive continuing on here in yeah, this game Look three. at the way that he's moving off of these platforms as well. Yeah. A lot of these runoffs are just so well spaced. Able to connect so many back hitters. Not able to get the whip punish on uh, that option there. Tries to go through the back hit of the up tilt. Doesn't find itself connecting. Uh, what I really like is that Buntai fan has recognized that um, Amante has really started to fish for up tilt on the platforms. They've positioned themselves in such a way that they can't get hit by it. They're avoiding so many of those combo starters. Oh. That was the double jump amazing recognition gets a second back here and what a lead yeah and the, the thing here is that amante lost a lot of damage and lost the stock like you said fishing for those opportunities around the platforms but sometimes man you gotta before you fish you gotta establish a pretty good neutral against your opponent and then you can start looking to catch some of the big fish and bigger plays but nonetheless the forward air to the up air and almost the punish on the out smash but i like the change up here and i'm a bunty fan able to just take back center stage immediately yeah, I have also just like sort of mix up the movement a little bit, make themselves so ambiguous. Wow, excellent grab there. I love that commitment. Right okay, now, Buntai Fan is just sort of spacing themselves appropriately, waiting. Amante finds himself back onto the stage, but not for long, as their disadvantage just keeps on getting worse and worse. And that up here is going to be able to do it. They're just taking games back and forth. Both of these players just seem to have stages that they love. Yeah, and immediately Amante getting the back air, looking to get What a reflect. What a good, what a good nair too back on stage because Yoshi returning there it lasts for quite some time and it's able to also set up into tech chases when you try to come back on the stage. Not very well to get hit by when you're trying to come back. Nonetheless, here it is going to be Bunta Fan still on two stocks with an immediate corner carry. Yeah, but Yoshi was actually able to find a double jump out of that nary link. Uh, wasn't able to fully connect that up. Here. So so good for Amante, but ooh, goes through the hard commitment, tries to go for it all, finds those up tilts and those up airs. Being under the platform uh, against Yoshi is uh, definitely not where you want to be at all. But I have to say, this is definitely look looking like Buntai fans game here. Yeah. And honestly, the stage pick is really good. Down B, not going to be all the hits. Jazz down, down B, that was cute. That was really cute. Oh but, no. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Buntai fan with the stage pick, uh, like you said, I think I think being in Smash Bros was really good for Amante, but at the end of the day, Buntai fan getting the better counter pick, going back to PS2, was gonna be the one thing that gave Buntai fan the reset.
for sure. Um, and honestly, well, like you I said, th- the movement too. The movement was really strong for Bootsy Fan coming out on PS2 compared as compared to Sm- uh, I'm sorry, not Smashville, <laughs> um, Battlefield. I mean, I mean, definitely. You know, on on Battlefield, there's like very little like space to go where you don't have uh you know a platform above you. Um, you know, I think this game, especially on PS2, the way that Buntai fan was actually positioning themselves, uh, it was always on the very edge, right on the platforms, right? So completely far away from where, uh, we'd be seeing the fishes for those up tilts, uh, especially the back hits. He was always putting himself out of range for it, and Amante just kept on going for those and was getting punished sometimes for it, too. Uh, so the fact that Buntai fan was just able to keep away with that, I just think that's just, like, really, really solid game sense. Yeah, and this is pretty much put it. Yeah, and I think both players are honestly just. I think they haven't realized like they had a reset here, so I'm just checking the Smash EG on their side. Um, but so going into this next set, um, I think whoever wins game one is gonna really be the one favored to win that set. Uh, and that's because having that stage advantage is looking like it's so big. Amante on um, on Battlefield, I mean, when they got a hit, they got plenty of hits, you know, to top it off. Right? They got 50% off of just one up tilt. They were able to perpetuate their advantage so much, they looked comfortable moving around that stage. But similarly, we're seeing that from Buntai fans. So now that that's been established, I would also like to see the bans uh, to not to try to avoid po- uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, but if that's the case, if Pokemon Stadium 2 is going to be banned, where will they opt to go? Yeah, honestly, when it comes down to the, looking at how both players have been playing with with Pokemon Stadium 2 and Battlefield, counterpicks become really important for both of them, considering where they want to go. I do see stages like Halos being an opportunity um, alongside other stages like Town & City as well. I think having that bigger space to move around Yoshi is really good for Buntai fans specifically just because you see the movement with PS2 and if Buntai fans can continue that to another stage as big as PS2 that being Kalos that being Town and City that becomes a really good play even Smashville I would believe is not too bad for Buntai fan even though it's a little bit smaller with the static center platform but we'll see we'll see how both of these players figure out where they want to go because I do see Town and City being a possibility for Buntai fan as the reset as the reset starts here yeah definitely um, so I guess like one of them just did not have that stage selected. Guys, we are approaching the final searcher bracket. Um, I know anybody watching from the East Coast, it's, uh, it's already kind of midnight here, so appreciate anybody that is able to pull through. Anybody that is elsewhere, I, you know? You know, it's, it's still like quite late. Uh, so I still appreciate everybody in chat who is, uh, keeping up and, and watching this video game. So game one, oh boy. Uh, they, they end up going to Battlefield. This is a stage that we just saw a Monte thrive in. Uh, this could be so big, you know, but really they have the bag. Now it's just going to be up to them to take it all the way home. Yeah, neutral air, another upper air. I think we're seeing Buntai Fan continue the momentum from the reset. And I think that's going to be a little bit important too. The momentum that Buntai Fan has kind of been able to find has allowed him to sense out how Amante has been playing so far. Definitely understanding I need to whiff punish Yoshi a little bit more if Yoshi goes for arrows, like I've said this time to time. Right, there's a lot of commitment from him, especially after the forward air. You can see the back air coming out, especially on the end leg, and another back air for Buntai Fan to get stage control and the forward air to give him Amante Had the right stage. idea on that tech in place, but unfortunately pulling the trigger a little bit too early there. Finds a double up air, try, oh, excuse me, the double up and tries to finish it up with an up air on the top platform. Oh, I know this is so difficult for Palutena. How do you land against Yoshi? No easy feat, but yeah. finds a back here either way. And right now, Buntai fan with a stock lead. This is so big. Oh, I do like that teleport into the platform, and then immediately the last hit of Nair able to just give Buntai fan so much to the point that it's now the edge guard yet again for Buntai fan and the corner carry with the back throw as well. Who goes for the explosive flame? Calls out that upbeat. That is beautiful stuff. Even though that move is so safe, um, you, anything can become a habit, and habits are punishable. Uh, yeah. Always going through that kind of a coverage. You can't be autopiloting to that. You have to be always cognizant of your opponent's positioning and what they're going for. Um, that time again, Buntai has just been sort of deterring uh, Amante to be going through those, but back here does it. Yeah. All right, a little bit of invincibility. I still commend 
Amante going for the downer. Downer just lost quite for quite some time. It could potentially beat out the invincibility that you would receive from being from the Angel platform just because of how long it lasts. But nonetheless, once I found with such a lead here, two stocks to one, once I found rewriting the entire script of how we saw these two play originally before the reset back on the stage where it was Amante having so much fun on the stage, it's now going to be Bontai Fan taking all the control. And what a great setup there on the explosive flame trying to stop Amante on the landing. Wow, we're good now. Oh no, Buntai fans still having a double jump, holding on to it though, but that's gonna be it. This could be so huge. That's the foil leader. That's gonna be dodging back onto the stage, but ah, finally finds it. But look how much damage they took in the process. There's incredible recognition for Buntai fan, seeing like, wait a second, your only option is to air dodge to the ledge. I don't even, I just need to watch out for your timing and was able to get it every single time. The next hit is gonna be able to do it. 151%, uh, anything can do it at this point. Yeah. But the fan has no reason to try to overextend himself and of course getting the punish on the center platform with the opera with the opera will give Buntai fan the first point on the board here in what is this reset between these two players. What a change up coming up from originally what we saw before the reset where I mean like I mean said, Buntai's adaptation. Buntai's adaptation this game was yeah. actually incredible. The way that they're positioning themselves to be completely away from whatever the monster is looking for, especially those call outs on those uppies off stage. Um, Buntai is on top of it, and Buntai has all the steam right now. The question is, is Amante going to be able to bring it back, or is this, or is this looking like Curtains? And they're going to go right back to Battlefield, it seems. Yeah. And it makes sense for Amante. It was such a strong pick for Amante coming out originally before the reset. And it's Buntai Fan definitely taking things around. Like you said, I think it's the adaptation that Buntai Fan has been able to put out there against Amante. But we'll see how much the adaptation will be able to carry. We'll see if Amante gets adaptation here on Buntai. But Buntai starting off with two nares, 29 on Yoshi, and looking to finally get that up tilt coming out up against Buntai. Yeah, right now, Buntai Fan had a good idea with that uh, gently falling up on the platform, but unfortunately, they dipped a little bit too low before they were able to fully connect it. Right now, trying to set some stuff up with the jab, baits out the counter, and is able to get a grab off of it onto the top platform, which is an awful place to be in against Yoshi, but Buntai Fan able to still fight their way out of that situation. Beautiful pivot grab. I've got to say, anytime you land a pivot grab, that feels so good. <laughs> pivot grabs are smooth, man. Yeah, they're really smooth in this game. Oh, what a counter, too. You're immediately sensing on the down tilt. Because you know Yoshi's looking for those touch chase scenarios, especially with that high rage and the way that Yoshi can kill you at, at the ledge as well. What a read on the Nair. And that's the thing about Yoshi. He commits to a lot of his aerials. Palutena having that really good back air with intangibility is just so good to shut that down. And Buntai starting off so strong here and what is potentially the last game between these two. For sure, but I have to say, Amante's like spacing of these uppies was just actually incredible. Always just catching where the Buntai is going, which is a huge call out. Hey, you need to be more careful about how you're landing. I uh, gotta try to mix it up a little bit more. I love the way that Buntai fan has also just been using counter in those situations uh, to be able to stop the eggs off stage, making sure they don't lose a jump or perhaps they're air dodge in the process. But Amante still able to clean it up, find himself in a corner against Palu, which is. <gasps> What a call out. Oh what my god. Yeah, you said it you said it so good there, because like that's the one thing that Buntai fan has been shutting down is those down bees from Yoshi. We saw that last game, and every time that we see Amante just try to escape with a down B, there is Buntai fan shutting that down before he even gets a chance. For sure. Um, I have to say, just like Buntai's like awareness is so good. They just seem to be really prepared for whatever Amante uh, has coming up next. That's going to be the double jump. Uh, not able to actually find that F-tilt. Very fortunate for Amante. They're able to dip lower. Uh, not close enough to the edge of the stage to be able to take it. But the next one most definitely will. And that's Palutena being juggled. But Amante just really chomping at the bit there. Committing where they shouldn't be. Yeah, and we can see the back air beat out the directional air dodge with the end lag there. Nonetheless, here, Buntai Fan off the stage, able to avoid the down tilt, still has invincibility, but that has run out, has to re-grab. Going to be dipping a little bit too low. Great play coming out from yes. Monte using that Nair. Excellent stuff. So we saw uh, the way that Buntai Fan had originally taken the egg hit, tried to go through the double jump off stage, and then tried to air dodge uh, to give themselves a bit of momentum to get back on, but Amante just did not let them get away with it. They never got a little bit too comfortable. Um, and right now, able to find the four leader, tries to go through the full hop back here, doesn't find it quite yet. This is still doable for Amante. Yeah. All right, neutral air. So far, Buntai Fan's got the stage, almost the upper, but a little bit shy off. Uh, really, really smart from Amante to try to uh, drift back and reset the situation. Beautifully timed neutral air dodge. But this is so scary. Is that explosive flame going to be able to take it? And it is. That means Buntai fan with the bracket reset going to be coming back all the way from losers, taking grand finals over Amante.